Inspired by true events, a high school senior suffers the dangerous consequences of getting two classmates pregnant. During a chaotic house party, a person wearing a red dress wanders from room to room and gently touches the valuables. Outside, the party's host, Connor, refuses to drink any more alcohol, saying that he's had enough, but his friends, Luca and Maya, pressure him. While the teen gulps down the beverage, a mysterious stranger enters his room and looks at a framed picture of him and his girlfriend, Amanda. Moments later, he receives a call from Amanda, who is spending her summer working as a camp counselor to save money for college. She asks about the noise on his end, and he says he has friends over for drinks. After the call, the person wearing the red dress, Heather, bumps into Connor then flirtatiously saunters away. When Maya spots the new student, she asks Connor who invited her. The teen says he didn't, but reveals Lucas friended Heather on social media. To explain his actions, Lucas says he only did it because she's new to their school and has no friends. Eventually, Connor heads to the garage to grab more drinks. To his surprise, the new student follows him there and offers to help him carry the items. However, instead of assisting, she takes a can and opens it. Then she starts asking questions about his father's luxury car stating that she's always wanted to see inside one. Because he's intoxicated, Connor joins Heather in the front seat and says he feels dizzy. Suddenly, she moves to the passenger seat and straddles him. At first, he feebly tries to stop her, but due to his inebriation, she coerces him into making love. On the first day of school, while Connor and Amanda discuss their schedule by his locker, Heather appears and says hi. After she walks away, the girlfriend asks who she is, and he says she's a new student Lucas friended on social media. In class, Amanda gives Heather wary looks while the latter smiles back. That afternoon, Maya shows her friend the new student's profile, where she only has a handful of male friends. As they scroll further, they see a picture of Heather and Connor inside the car. But Maya assures Amanda that her boyfriend was too intoxicated to do anything sketchy. Eventually, Amanda confides that she was supposed to have her time of the month last week and worries she might be pregnant. Seconds later, she receives a message from her mother to head home immediately. When she arrives, she sees her old their sister Kelly crying while their mother Trish comforts her. The mother explains that Kelly lost another baby, so the teen offers her condolences. Before Trish leaves for work, she assures her eldest daughter that she'll have a baby in the future. Later, Kelly laments how difficult it is to conceive now that she wants to get pregnant. She sees the worried look on her sister's face, so she asks if things are alright with her boyfriend. Amanda says they're fine, but she wonders if leaving for her summer job was the right decision. Meanwhile, Heather performs an at-home pregnancy test and is delighted to learn she's with child. Then she takes several selfies while holding up the test stick and uploads it on her social media. In Connor's bedroom, the couple are about to make love when he receives a message from Lucas with a link to the new student's post. When Amanda asks what's wrong, he lies and says his friend just sent him a funny video. The next day, Heather speaks to Connor to inform him that she's pregnant with his baby. He asks how she knows it's his, and she says he's the only person she slept with since she moved to town two months ago. He says he can't handle a pregnancy right Right now, especially since he has a girlfriend. However, Heather is adamant about keeping the baby. That afternoon, while Amanda's about to perform a pregnancy test, Maya calls to tell her to check the new student's profile. To her surprise, she sees Heather's newest post announcing that Connor is the baby's father. Meanwhile, the new student looks up the price of Connor's father's luxury car, and upon seeing the figure, tells her baby that she chose the right person to get her pregnant. Seconds later, her father Keith arrives, and she asks why he isn't at work. The man scoffs and says she she sounds like her mother, who left them. So the daughter says she'll also be out of the house soon enough. In her bedroom, Amanda anxiously paces while calling her boyfriend but he chooses to ignore her. The next day, she confronts Connor about Heather's post when the new student suddenly joins to tell him that her blood test results confirm she's pregnant. Amanda lashes out at Heather, who says she didn't know Connor had a girlfriend when they slept together, even though she did see the couple's picture in his room during the party. Furious, the scorned girlfriend storms off, and Maya follows her. As they sit on the bleachers, the upset teen finally admits that she's pregnant. That evening, Connor begs his girlfriend to speak to him outside her house. He takes full responsibility for his actions and expresses guilt for putting her through the anguish. However, she breaks up with him, unable to forgive his cheating. The following day, Trish notices that her daughter looks pale, but Amanda says she's okay. At school, the nauseous teen throws up in the bathroom. In class, Connor pesters his girlfriend to talk to him, 
but the teacher reprimands them. Amanda says she'd like to switch seats, so Heather volunteers, eliciting jeers from the other students. At home, Trish finds a pregnancy test brochure in her daughter's room. That afternoon, Heather tells Connor she has no one to turn to for the baby's needs. She says her mother walked out on the family four years ago, while her father doesn't care what happens to her. Because he feels sorry for her, he promises to use some of his savings so she can see a doctor and buy maternity clothes. Grateful, the new student gives him a hug and a kiss. Unfortunately, Amanda witnesses the interaction and cries as she turns to leave. Later, Trish and her husband Jeff confront their daughter about the brochure, leaving the teen with no choice but to come clean. After hearing her parents' disappointment, she agrees that having the baby could drastically change her life. However, the mother clarifies that she doesn't want her to get rid of the child. The parents promise to support her and Connor, but when Amanda admits she hasn't told him yet, Trish asks why. So the daughter reveals her boyfriend cheated on her and that the other student is also pregnant. That evening, Trish tells her daughter they're heading to Connor's house to speak to his parents. So the teen quickly texts her boyfriend to inform him she's pregnant. Later, Amanda and her parents speak to Diane and Peter. Upon hearing the news, the parents ask their son why he never told them, and he explains he only found out just before the guests arrived. Diane subtly suggests getting rid of the baby, but Amanda says she's keeping it. Then, Trish shares that another student in school is claiming she's also pregnant with Connor's baby. When Peter exasperatedly exclaims that he'll have to pay for both pregnancies' expenses, Jeff takes offense and tells his family they're leaving. That night, Amanda sees Heather's newest post of a selfie with a caption implying Connor likes how the pregnancy has changed her body. Then, she snoops through the profile and finds a picture of the new student wearing a shirt with with Birkin High written on it. She heads to the school's website and sees a picture of Heather and a guy under Oddest Couple. One comment calls the guy the unluckiest baby daddy ever, while another says they knew she faked the pregnancy. Meanwhile, the new student writes down baby names in a notebook. Suddenly, she hears a knock on the door and lets her ex-boyfriend Trent in. He says it's been a month since they last slept together, so she reminds him they're no longer a couple. He asks if she found a new rich boyfriend, especially since the last one she tried to trick didn't pan out. Heather tells him to leave, so he expresses that he's tired of her toying with him whenever one of her plans doesn't work. The next day, Amanda tells Connor that Heather's lying about the pregnancy because it's what she did in her last high school. The new student overhears the accusation and argues that the girlfriend is jealous because he cheated on her. So Amanda finally reveals that she is also pregnant and believes Heather's lying. This prompts the new student to recount the intimate details of the night she and Connor made love in the luxury car. Furious, Amanda pushes her to the ground, and Heather's cries alert a teacher, who calls for an ambulance. In the hospital, Diane speaks to the new student and insists she take a paternity test since she doubts the teen's claim that she has only slept with Connor. Later, Amanda calls her boyfriend to ask if everything's okay, and he says both the mother and child are fine. He asks that she remain civil if they want to make their situation work. When she says she can't be friends with Heather, he tells her to stay away from the new student to avoid more trouble. During dinner, Kelly is in disbelief upon learning of her sister's pregnancy. She says Amanda and Connor won't be able to raise a child because they're still in high school and have no money. Hurt, the teen leaves the table, prompting the remorseful sister to follow her. Kelly apologizes for her outburst and says she reacted that way because she and her husband have been trying for a year. Despite the unfortunate situation, she knows it's her responsibility to support Amanda with what Ever she needs. For the next few days, word spreads around town about Connor impregnating two classmates, and the news reaches Trent. Four months later, Connor surprises Amanda at the hospital just before her ultrasound. Even though they haven't spoken since the day Heather was at the hospital, he'd like to be there for her. The doctor informs the pair that their baby's a girl, much to their delight. Meanwhile, Keith walks in on Heather changing clothes and finally learns she's pregnant. She assures her father that she already has everything planned for the child's future. In the hospital, Connor apologizes for distancing himself from his girlfriend for the past four months and promises to be by her side. Then, he shares his frustrations about Heather constantly pestering him for money. Suddenly, he receives a call from the new student and replies that he is at Amanda's ultrasound. When the distraught teen reads the message, she heads to the bathroom and ingests several pills. As he drops Amanda off at her house, Connor receives a message from Heather, who says she took medication to calm herself down but now feels dizzy. Later, he he ends the call with the doctor and informs the new student that she and the baby should be fine, but that she shouldn't take any medication without consulting a physician first. He asks if she needs anything. 
and she requests for water. So he leaves his phone on the table and heads to the kitchen. While he's gone, she sees Amanda's message on his phone. So she replies as Connor, saying that he's spending the night to take care of Heather. Before he returns, she quickly deletes both messages from the phone. Seconds later, he asks where the baby will sleep. So she takes him to her bedroom. When Connor looks around, he's horrified at the poor disheveled state of the space. Eventually, he says he has to go, but Heather asks him to stay since she's all alone. However, the sound of her father's truck outside tells Connor she'll have company. Outside, the man asks the teen if he's the baby's father, and he affirms. To Connor's surprise, Keith chuckles at the teen's misfortune of dealing with Heather. Meanwhile, Trish sees her despondent daughter, so she assures that Connor loves her and no one else. Concurrently, Diane informs her son that the paternity test results came back and that he is the baby's father. So he tells his mother about the poor living conditions in Heather's house, which means they might need to fix it up. At first, the woman annoyedly remarks that Heather wants money. But when her son says he feels responsible for the baby's well-being, she promises to sort everything out. The next day, Maya tells Amanda that the new student posted the paternity test results on her social media. Then Connor arrives, and his girlfriend confronts him about sleeping over at Heather's last night. However, he swears he never sent a message yesterday, and she realizes what happened. So she walks up to Heather and calls her pathetic, and the new student counters that she shouldn't believe everything her boyfriend says, especially since he lied about sleeping with another person. Soon, Amanda's family and friends throw her a baby shower. One afternoon, Diane speaks to Keith and hands him a check worth $100,000 after he signs the contract stipulating that they never contact her son again. After Connor drops her off, Heather enters the house and notices that most things are missing. Then she sees the contract on the table and realizes that her father took the money and left her. When she opens her phone, she sees pictures from the baby shower, further fueling her rage. Just as Amanda and Connor reconcile, they find a distraught Heather in his house with Diane. The new student explains that her father left after his mother paid him off. Since she no longer has anyone to care for her, she contacted Diane. Upset, Amanda runs out of the house, and her boyfriend follows her. Outside, he tries to explain that Heather living in his house doesn't change anything, but she disagrees. During dinner, Peter asks the new student about her plan for the baby. She says they can set up a nursery in the house so she and Connor can care for the baby together. Peter says his son needs to finish college. So Connor says he'll go to a community college to live at home since he and Amanda don't have a plan yet. His statement upsets Heather, who realizes he still chooses his girlfriend over her. Later, Heather overhears Connor leaving his girlfriend a voicemail saying he'll join her Lama's class tomorrow. Meanwhile, Amanda tells her mother she's thinking about giving the baby to Kelly and her husband. So Trish advises her to speak to her boyfriend before deciding. Hours later, Heather lies beside a sleeping Connor and takes a selfie. The next day, she plans to follow him through the Lamaze class using his father's new car. When she enters the vehicle, Trent gets in the passenger seat. She asks what he's doing there, and the man says he found out she successfully trapped the guy by getting pregnant. So he's there to collect the money she owes. Heather refuses, so Trent threatens to tell Connor how she tried to trap another student in her old high school, but it didn't work because she lost the baby. When the man turns around to enter the house, she grabs a wrench and bashes his head. Then, she takes the lifeless body to her house and buries it in the crawl space. Later, the deranged teen sees the happy couple in Lama's class, and she follows them as they drive to Amanda's house. Meanwhile, Connor hesitantly agrees when his girlfriend says she'd like to give their baby to her sister, stating that he'll support whatever she wants. After the boyfriend drives off, Heather sees Amanda crossing the street, and she tries to run her over. Fortunately, the girlfriend dives to the sidewalk to save herself. When the crazed teen returns to the house, Diane confronts her for taking the car without permission. Mission. The woman calls her manipulative and conniving and thinks she's unfit to be a mother. Enraged, the teen throws a plate in the woman's direction before threatening to hurt her if she continues to meddle. At school, Luca shows Connor the selfie Heather posted of him sleeping beside her. When he learns that the new student assaulted his mother, he tells her to leave the house. The next day, the couple finally tells Kelly and her husband Greg that they've decided to give them the baby, eliciting tears of joy from the grateful sister. On the day of the school trip, Heather joins the class on the bus despite suffering from labor pains. At the park, Connor and Amanda separate to join their assigned groups. Later, the girlfriend walks the trail back to the conservation center because she has to use the restroom.
room. Unbeknownst to her, the deranged teen follows close behind. In the wilderness, Heather blames Amanda for everything that's gone wrong in her life. If the girlfriend didn't get pregnant, her plan of trapping Connor would have succeeded, and she'd finally have a family of her own. When Amanda sees the knife in the crazed teen's hand, she runs away. Meanwhile, Connor starts to worry when he can't find his girlfriend, so he heads down the trail to look for her. Concurrently, Amanda reaches a dead end on the edge of a precipice. Suddenly, Heather tackles her, causing both teens to fall to the ground below. The crazed teen grabs a rock and is about to bash the girlfriend, but the labor pains hinder her, and she falls to the ground. Amanda stands up and is about to escape, but Heather begs her for help because the baby is coming. Despite the deranged teen's ill intentions mere seconds ago, the sympathetic girlfriend helps deliver the baby. Suddenly, Connor arrives, and Heather happily introduces their child. One month later, Amanda finally gives birth, and Kelly witnesses her sister tearfully telling the baby that she is giving her up so she can have the best life. Even though she wants nothing more than a child of her own, Kelly tells her sister that she can keep the baby because it doesn't seem right to take her away. Eventually, the grandparents arrive, and Diane hands Connor his and Heather's baby. Meanwhile, the deranged teen speaks to her lawyer, who says they found Trent's body in the crawlspace and all evidence points to her. When the lawyer leaves for a moment, she takes his phone and uses it to log into her social media. She sees Connor's picture with a baby and promises her child they'll be together soon. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.